There are special cells that give rise to your gametes, egg cells or sperms. When gametes fuse during fertilization, the full amount of chromosomes returns. During the formation of gametes, the number of chromosomes gets reduced by half. But how are gametes actually formed? Let's see. In a eukaryotic cell, meiosis is an important process that takes place during sexual reproduction. At the beginning of the first meiotic division, the nucleus of the cell absorbs water from the cytoplasm and starts to swell up. The volume increases threefold and the cell is now ready to enter the first stage of meiosis called prophase 1. During the first stage of prophase 1 called preleptotene, the chromosomes look like thin, uncoiled, long threads. Later, they start condensing and assume a definite shape. This stage is called leptotene. Unlike prophase of mitosis, two homologous chromosomes from each parent cell are attracted toward each other and they start forming pairs during the zygotene stage. In the packetine stage, pairing of homologous chromosomes known as synapses is completed. The bivalents or homologous chromosomes further undergo longitudinal contraction and become shorter and thicker. This marks the beginning of packeting. Each bivalent chromosome is composed of four chromatids, therefore called tetrads. At this point, chromatids of homologous chromosomes cross over and they interchange chromatid segments allowing more combinations of genetic material. The crossing over is accompanied by the chiasmata formation. The chiasmata are points where two non-sister chromatids exchange genetic material. The chiasma becomes very visible at this stage. This is the diplotene stage. Next comes the final stage of prophase in meiosis called diakinesis, in which the chromosomes continue to pull apart and the non-sister chromatids remain loosely associated via chiasmata. The second stage in meiosis is called prometaphase 1, which is marked by the breakdown of the nuclear envelope. At this stage, the nuclear membrane disappears completely. Microtubules get arranged in the form of spindles between two centrioles. During metaphase 1, chromosomes get arranged on the equator of the spindle and microtubules of the spindle are attached to the centromere of homologous chromosomes of each tetrad. The repulsive force between two homologous chromosomes increases greatly and chromosomes become ready to separate. Anaphase 1. Chiasma separates and the chromosomes, each with two chromatids, move to separate poles. This stage is called anaphase 1. Telophase 1. The nuclear membrane around the chromosomes is formed. This is telophase 1. At the end of cytokinesis, two daughter cells are formed, after which the cell is ready to start meiosis II. During the first stage of meiosis II, also called prophase II, the centriole divides into two and each centriole slowly migrates to the opposite pole. Following this, the nuclear membrane disappears and chromosomes with two chromatids become short and thick. Subsequently, chromosomes get arranged on the equator of the spindle and the spindle 
attaches to them at centromere, marking the beginning of metaphase 2. Then the centromere divides into two and each chromosome produces two chromatids. The microtubules of the spindle are seen attached to the centromere of chromosomes. During the next phase called anaphase 2, by the contraction of microtubules, the chromatids start moving towards opposite poles. In telophase 2, chromatids completely migrate to the opposite poles. After this, the process of cytokinesis begins. It is the phase when the cleavage furrow begins and gradually deepens to form four daughter cells. This marks the end of meiosis II. First stage of meiosis called prophase I. The chromosomes start condensing and assume a definite shape. This stage is called leptotene. Chromosomes from each parent cell are attracted toward each other and they start forming pairs during the zygotene stage. In the packetine stage, pairing of homologous chromosomes known as synapses is completed. At this point, chromatids of homologous chromosomes cross over and they interchange chromatid segments allowing more combinations of genetic material. The crossing over is accompanied by the chiasmata formation. The chiasma becomes very visible at the diplotene stage. Next comes the final stage of prophase in meiosis called diakinesis. During metaphase 1, chromosomes get arranged on the equator anaphase 1. Chiasma separates and the chromosomes move to separate poles. Telophase 1. The nuclear membrane around the chromosomes is formed. At the end of cytokinesis, two daughter cells are formed. These two cells divide once again to form four haploid cells during meiosis II. Thus, during the meiosis, a single cell gives rise to four daughter cells which are haploid.